So today I'm going to show you how to make a chicken and squash coconut curry. And I'm going to go over all the ingredients with you. Okay, so our ingredients are butternut squash, onion, and three cloves of garlic. About a cup and a half of chicken broth or more if you need it. Olive oil and coconut milk. Well, I have my chicken soaking right now in some vinegar water. And I basically just do three capfuls of distilled white vinegar. Here's my chicken. I have four pieces of thigh and I'm going to season them right now. Okay, so here's what I like to do. Before I season. Okay. And I'm gonna start with my garlic. Ginger. Curry. Turmeric. To this should have done that in the beginning I forgot to bring up my sleeve a little salt and some pepper Nice and seasoned. Okay, we're gonna start by cutting up our squash. There you go. It's all chopped up. The only thing you wanna make sure is that they are all pretty much about the same size so that they all cook evenly. onions and the garlic. I just added a little bit more olive oil to this. Coconut cream, I mean coconut milk. Make sure that you have coconut milk and not coconut cream. Mine looks a little chunky because this brand actually is my favorite because it's thicker. Okay, and I'm going to add a teaspoon of curry to this. You can use paste or powder, I just use powder. 
That's sad too. I like a lot of curry. Gonna add some pepper. And some salt. I'm also gonna add a little bit of ginger. for another I want to say maybe 10 minutes okay so this has been cooking for 10 minutes on medium high and I'm going to take out one of the chicken thighs well that one I think I already checked earlier this one because I'm going to cut it open to check it and there you go it's pretty much done so I'm going to put it back in and we're going to cook this with the squash. We're going to add the squash. And now we're just going to cook this until the squash is tender. You don't want to leave the squash in there too long, so I'm going to say maybe another 10 minutes. You don't want to cook the squash too much because then it gets mushy. And you don't want that. So 10 minutes has passed. Look at this goodness. Look at this. But we're gonna check our squash. And that's what you want. I'm gonna get a big piece. Okay, so squash is done. And this is done. I just pulled it off the heat. And look at this. That broth is amazing. You have to try this. So when you serve it, you can either serve it with the chicken thighs whole or you can cut them up because these are pretty big chicken thighs. This is how I serve it over white rice. Going in for a taste test. It's so good. I wish I didn't love food so much. <laughs>